Hey everybody, welcome back. We're on Monopoly part two. Still, all of this is under the umbrella of theory of the firm, but we're on to Monopoly and we're on the second video for Monopoly. This one we're calling graphical foundations. First of all, first thing we take note of, one graph. No side-by-side -side analysis for Monopoly, never. No side-by-side -side analysis, why? Because of product differentiation. The firm is making a unique product. Now there might be a lot of close substitutes, but the firm is making a unique product. Therefore, the market demand curve is the firm's demand curve. So, market equals firm. So let's start, let's put on our big three curves. What are our big three curves? Their demand, their marginal revenue, and their marginal cost, okay? So demand, marginal revenue, marginal cost. Let's start with demand. It's just a market demand curve. So what does a market demand curve look like? It's downward sloping. So demand, market, okay? So that's the demand curve the firm faces, and it's the market demand curve. They're one and the same because the, pro the company's making a unique product. Now we got to put on the MR curve, okay? The MR curve I'm going to do in red in this particular video. The MR curve is going to split away from the demand curve, okay, at twice the slope in absolute terms. So the MR curve splits away. If you're wondering why, go back to part one because that's when we explain this. And this is one of the key things, if not the key thing, to understanding monopoly and market power is MR and the demand curve are not the same assuming no price discrimination, and that's exactly what we're uh, assuming right now. That, hey, we, when we sell a product, we're gonna sell it at the same price to everybody. So there we go, got that on the board. Now I'm gonna put our MC. MC, we know from the cost of production videos, is upward sloping eventually. It might go down for a while, okay, because of increasing returns to scale, but eventually the MC is going to come up. So I put my MC curve in. Now I put a little bit of like hook in there. You can draw it linear. Just make sure it's upward sloping when it intersects the MR and the demand. That's the key. Now, find the output level. The output level is still based on a fundamental rule that should kind of almost be intuitive right now. We're going to produce as long as the MR curve as long as MR for any particular good is above MC. As long as the MR is above the MC for any good, we're going to produce it. We're going to keep producing until they become equal. So MR equals MC right there. That determines our output level. That's where we maximize profit. We have to maximize profit at that amount. So Q, profit max. But we pause for a second because here's a mistake that we can make. We can go right to there and say, well, that's the price. Mm -mm. MC equaling MR is how we find profit maximi maximization level of output. But the price is always based on the demand curve. We're not gonna price it right here. Why are we not gonna price it right there? Well, I'm gonna show you. Imagine that we did, okay? If we priced it right here, so price. Here's the result. Quantity supplied, because the MC is the supply curve, so this horizontal distance would be quantity supplied, and we know that, because we've already said it's going to be the quantity. However, quantity demanded would be a lot more. So at that price, the quantity demanded would be far more than the quantity supplied. One more time, at that price, and going all the way to the demand curve. Quantity demanded far more than what would be supplies, supplied, so what would we get? A shortage. And what do we do when we get a shortage? We raise the price. So the firm would say, hey, I'm not going to price it right here. I'm getting shortages. I'm going to start raising the price. Well, how far up? I'm going to get rid of that because that's just wrong. How far up is that price going to go? All the way to the demand curve. There's my price. Price monopolist. Notice, the monopolist has pricing power. Okay, they've got pricing power. They're going to price it all the way up to right there. Now we've done the basics, the foundations of the graph. Now I haven't done profit or loss. I'm going to do that in the next video. I just want to see the basics right now. I want you to just see the foundations of the graph because it's key. MC upward sloping, no big deal. Demand downward sloping. Why? Because the firm and the market demand curve are the same thing and market demand curves are always downward sloping. MR breaking away at twice the slope in absolute terms, okay? So MR, you can say it's underneath demand, that's okay. It's an okay way to say it, all right? 
breaking away at twice the slope. How do we find output? Same as always. MC and MR equality determines output, but it doesn't determine price. We're going to price based on the demand curve. So follow up that, at that quantity, head all the way up. I'm hitting the demand curve. There's our price. That's the foundational graph. That's what we want to have here at the beginning as we start to do monopolies. Hope that made sense to you. Stay tuned for part three. See you in the next video.